It's that Z, too low, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 it's that Z Hello everyone, I'm back with another video And in today's video, it's gonna be me versus Formula I Quail And before we start, please give this video a thumbs up Subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification To not miss an uploader stream from my channel Now, let's go ahead and begin Okay, so the map of choice will be the strategic heights. All right now, let's see what will happen here. Now, of course, you know, as Confederation, they like farming with this balance 2.0. So we're not going to go ahead and give him time to do just that or camp. Okay. All right, there goes. Three barracks right off the bat. Okay. And then, gold scouting boost to get those containers, of course. Getting them is always a must, and as you can see over here, I clearly got a hold of most of the containers on the map, and yeah, there it goes. So pretty much it's average, the container collection, I'd say. Okay, so yeah, um, going, I mean, five supply centers, what I got here, almost level 3 HQ, there it goes. Now, I was planning to rush him with... Jaguar and a chameleon. That's why I had you know a, like a jaguar and a porcupine, but that's why I had the uh, factory built first, so I Was wanting to do that, but instead I opted out for You know, I'm gonna be transitioning later on since he was able to scout my base and he can actually prepare So my blunder here was like not put up the sniper towers at the beginning So I opted for you know like a more macro build you know, like, uh, you know, so going to use this uh, coyote to scout his base. Okay, level 3 HQ. Avia factory right there. Factory for hammer. Okay. So let's see what this guy uh, will do. Now, level 2, special vehicle factory for torrents. Okay, so since I already saw an avia factory, this tells me the tale of a vertex coming my way. And now, as you can see, I've graded level 4 HQ. I've graded this to... Of course, uh, level 2, preparing to be upgraded to level 3 in just a few moments. There it goes. Okay, sending this uh, Jaguar right here, so no funny business right over or anything like that. A Cyclone, okay. Fishing out some hidden infantry on the forest. Okay. And so, uh, oh, you're dead, Cyclone. Okay, now, as you can see over here, two, two vehicle factory for Jaguars, of course. I'm going to go ahead and rush him out with Jaguars. That's why I had two for faster production. Added one more special vehicle factory so that, of course, I can, like, produce a uh, porcupine. Now, there it goes. I'm just waiting for this chameleon to be, uh, the con to be, uh, two. Okay. Now, let's see what this guy has. You know, I'm not able to scout his base as of yet. But I'm, you know, I'm guessing that he already has, like, a level 4 HQ. Yeah. And he also has, like, 6 supply center. Okay. And I also have the same thing. So let's see what I got here. 1, 4, 6, 7 with the gold boost and level 4 HQ. That's not actually bad. Okay. Let's see what will happen here. We're just waiting for this chameleon to pop out over here. Okay, and so I'm trying to hide some infantry in the forest since I got rid of the uh, cyclone earlier. Okay, so I got like two porcupines and five jaguars. One is uh, actually bruised. I'm going six and seven jaguar now. Okay. You're gonna have to hide there, bro. Okay. Now let's see what'll happen from here on. He'll be attacking me any moment now with those vertex trying to scout what I have. Okay, so, I'm going to have to use production boost, of course. Alright, here goes, those vertex. Okay, so vertex just scouted there, and the vertex will now have to attack my base, or no, my units, and the chameleon, you know, the activation time is super, super slow, that is. Okay, was able to pick up some of my jaguars that are exposed since, you know, like, Chameleons and Jaguar doesn't have the same speed, so yeah. It's really uh, hard to control them while they are marching. Okay. Now there it goes. I lost some of my units that are for 
intentionally attacking, but I still have like four, six Jaguars here. Okay, no, there's like a uh, assault rifle or assault infantry over there. Yeah, there it goes. So I'm gonna have to have my units, you know, like uh, turn on the fog since I'm I don't want to be caught off guard by those vertex. Now, as you can see over here, non stop unit production while I am trying to position myself into attacking him. I also will have to place a, uh, place a rifleman here, but a hammer will have to, you know, like kill it. Here it goes. I'm gonna be attacking formula right now. So, two bunkers right off the bat, and of course, gold scouting for me to see up ahead. Okay, three torrents right there. Now, there might be Thors into the mix, so I'm going to be very careful. Uh-huh. Okay. Wow, level 4 HQ right there. Okay. So, I actually moved into a position where I can reach those torrents right there, because those things are so dangerous. You know, like, even three of them can, like, destroy a whole army if you're clumped up yeah the uh, lucky shot then i'm dead now while all that is going on as you can see over here i'm still having units streamed on this position to attack on this side okay and now my dogs are like you know wow man what yeah stop fighting one another you two okay so here goes let's continue okay now trying to gun down those torrents force firing of course now the buildings can actually see two cells ahead of it, so yeah. Okay. Now there's actually no Thors, all right, because uh, if there was, then I'm gonna be, you know, it's gonna have to try and bomb me from, you know, like earlier than this one. Okay. Now of course, you know, like a chameleon is always uh, smart in terms of maneuverability. It's very smart. Now here goes my detachment right here, and it just has to, you know, like, attack on its own. So, oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna have to control it manually over there. And from this side, as you can see, those vertex are, like, trying to be annoying as well. Now, I only have two Jaguars within this uh, cloud over here. And now, as you can see, I had my units uh, produce again on my factories right there. But, of course, you know, like... Formula is like building something inside a cloud. Now, once those building finishes, they can reveal inside the cloud. Okay, now I'm gonna have to damage that over there. Wow, going level 5 HQ straight to level 5 HQ without any force. Wow, so going straight to Spaceville. Okay, now this very smart chameleon, you know, like uh, went outside the cover of those, uh, you know, like they just went. I know the uh, chameleon just went away, so the co the uh, jaguars were not under cover by the cloud. Okay. Now, this small detachment right here, I'm trying to have it be as annoying as humanly possible, and as you can see, that hammer over there is gonna be annoying. Okay. Now those vertex are gonna have to patrol and destroy the units that are revealed. There. Nice pick off there. Okay, another detachment over here, and as you can see over here, there's like queues of units that are steered up. Now I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna let the formula have his way since he has a maxed out account. All right, specifically, you know, as you can see, level five HQ before the 12 minute mark. So this tells me the tale of going straight into Spaceville, space system camping. Okay, added more anti-air, of course. Because my uh, base lacks the anti-air, so those vertex might go straight for my factories, and that will be it for me. Okay, while I am rebuilding my factories, um, you know, the space system will have to be constructed and, you know, like, um, produce that space strike and, or anything like that. So I don't want that to happen. So as you can see here, I'm just waiting for uh, my units to reach critical mass. But, um, but it seems that, you know, I am impatient <laughs> as to wait for that, so... Let's charge on ahead over here, and I'll have this uh, army that is going to be joining here pretty soon. Uh, join this detachment that I had sent. 
Okay, now since there's no tours, nothing can, uh, you know, like, can detest, uh, can contest with, uh, the Chameleon Jaguars that I got over here, except for a torrent that is, uh, placed over there, which I resetted the count earlier. Okay, now a Zeus in a torrent right here, which is over, uh, outnumbered. Okay, now let's see what, uh, one torrent can do that much damage, and as you can see, building inside the fog, you know, like, when a jaguar fires on it, they also take damage due to splash. And one very smart chameleon, yet again, going above the cliff without being told. Okay, and then going back up again, oh man, very smart. Okay. Alright. So there it goes, I still have two chameleons right here, so the uh, fog will uh, actually last quite long. And as you can see over here, I'm going to have to snowball the army that are being gathered to, of course, you know, like, attack is based and destroy the important infrastructures. Okay, and the rocket tower right over there, the range is just super, as you can see. Okay, that's a rocket tower. <laughs> okay, and there it goes. Again, units right here. So I'm going to have to destroy this uh, factory right over there. So, this actually prevents him from building anything, you know, like, anything that can contest my army. So, at this point, you know, I really think that he should call it quits, man. I mean, you rush up to level 5 HQ. If you had Thors, then I'm going to have a hard time attacking you, since there's only, like, three entries to your base. And I don't have any AV, as you can see. No AV or anything like that. Okay. So I'm no longer going to weak state boost, as you can see, I'm clearly I clearly have the upper hand on this battle. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Oh, there it goes. It's going to be GG at this point. So yeah, is that his mistake was, you know, he rushed Spaceville. You know, like, having a Spaceville, typical ca uh, camping mode. But I did not, you know, give him time to reach a critical mass of torrents, okay, and also uh, a critical mass of buildings where it can, like, protect those torrents. Because I cannot just jump straight to attacking those torrents if there was, like, a few bunkers over there that will reveal my units. So, yeah, that's actually uh, what happened here. Alright, well, he does have the upper hand of upgrades in terms of that. And rank, by the way. So, yeah. There it goes. Now, again, guys, if you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what are your thoughts into this video. And I would look, I highly recommend that you guys check out my previous videos so that you won't miss a good content from my channel. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day and good luck with your battles. And, oh, and by the way, uh, please check out Fast Quash Gaming channel. All right, he does have a good video, and he does have a challenge or that you guys may earn free tokens, 100 tokens, on the 7th of December. All right, so yeah, better check them out and subscribe on this channel as well to not miss a good content from him. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye now.